Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're getting the sea pickle farm done, and it's a pretty easy one, but yeah, just go ahead and kick back and get ready for the ride. First things first, you're going to find yourself a nice flat area, and you're going to go down and dig a nice 3x3 three three hole. And you're going to go down here, yep, just 3x3, three three, and then you can fill it up with water. Just go all four corners here, just make sure it's all source blocks of water. Then you're going to actually break all of the blocks right below it, and uh, oops, turn all of those into coral blocks. And you can use any color you want, you can use red, blue, purple, uh, magenta. I'm just using yellow here for time's sake, but I just used the first one that I chose. Go ahead and put your sea pickles right in the middle there. If you want to, what I like to do is actually replace the edges here with sea lanterns. Now it's going to get super bright, uh, but don't worry, we're going to be covering these up. Next, what you're going to go ahead and do is just take your favorite type of stair. It can be any type of stair. Today, I'm actually just going to do prismarine because I, I like the way prismarine looks. It should be entirely enclosed when you're done and look just like this in a perfect square. Then you're going to go through and make your ways to get up to it. And so what I'm going to do is just place three sets of stairs on all four sides just like this. And that one was upside down. That was an accident. Should look like that when you're done. Then you're going to go around and I'm, I'm just going to put composters. Some people like to use cauldrons, but I'm just going to use a composter just because it kind of makes it look a little bit nicer. You're going to put azalea leaves on the top here. And I actually just put one over here just because you, you can't put one directly into the composter just like that. Uh, so azalea leaves actually, I think, look the nicest on this build. Then what I like to do is go through with warped signs and place them on every side here so you can kind of cover up uh, the, the composter for the most part. Next, you're going to go through and actually just, if you want to, place some prismarine walls around the side. I'm just doing that for the color variation here. And again, you can use whatever type of wall or fence you want right there. And I'm going to put soul lanterns on the side because I think this looks the, ni the nicest out of all of them. I was going to try to look at, use a beacon. Beacons are nice and bright, but... Uh, a little bit too much so soul lanterns are nice and low lit and i think that looks great what you're going to do just to make sure that it works is go ahead and just start bone mealing there you go you got you got sea pickles you can just take these away and you got as many sea pickles as you want as long as you got bone meal there you go as easy as that and that's going to be it today guys that's the sea pickle farm pretty easy if you have any questions definitely leave a comment below if you like it feel free to drop a like and then uh, yeah thank you guys for subscribing it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it thank you guys so much um by the way guys i, st I stream every single day on twitch if you want to go ahead and follow me on twitch uh, feel free to stop by anytime we stream every single day 11 a.m cst around that time at least sometimes i'm late sometimes i'm not we also got the patreon as well might as well tell you if you want to be a patron if you, if you want to have your name displayed at the end of every video like like the names are going to come up in about 10 15 15 seconds you can be a patron all you have to do is follow that patreon link in the description down below also that'll make you vip in the twitch chat uh, but yeah that's gonna be it guys take care of yourselves and do something nice for somebody bye